Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. Uh, my name is Fallon Casolino and I am a life coach in, in training through the Jay Shetty Certification School. And I love to sh share ideas on this channel that are all helpful tips toward that self journey where you're uh, wanting to work toward in terms of either self-compassion, self-worth, self-appreciation. Uh, for me, Self-acceptance is the niche that I have chosen. It's the area where I want to serve people going forward. And um, it is a big part of my own personal self journey and something that I'm working on constantly. So today in the video that I am creating here, I want to talk to you guys about um, tools that I've used in the past um, actually in benefit of other people and how I have adapted that tool to work more internally towards my own self journey and what I have done with that is inspiration to alter the tool that I use that you're familiar with that is my victory journal. So um, today I want to talk to you about something that I call a warm fuzzy and it's something that I've done for absolutely years and I know it's backwards, I'm so sorry, that just happens, but um, what I do is essentially it's a thank you note or something where I'm recognizing someone for who they are and what they mean to me. So I will put a name in the center and any sporadic thought that comes up for me about that person, I put in you know, the roundabout areas. This is something that in school I learned um, when I was learning how to brainstorm ideas and they called it scatter plots and you know you have your main idea in the center and you build off of it. So I love this. I do it all the time. Anyone who's worked with me for any space of time um, in a work situation has multiples of these from me because I just I love doing it. So this one when I started down that path of getting to know myself on an authentic and very deep level I did one that was with my own name in the center and I recognized things in myself that I had learned that I really enjoy about Fallon and so I have things on here that are like empath, being sensitive, um, music brings me joy, there's all sorts of, and if I was to make one now, there would be a lot more things on here. This was when I first started down this path. I now feel that I know myself pretty well on a very deep level. So that was my inspiration. And um, when I'm talking about my victory journal, as you know, over the last few months, I've been really hard on myself because this used to be a daily practice. It used to be something I did constantly. And lately, I just am not giving myself the time to do it. It's not necessarily that I don't have the time. It's just that I'm not taking that time. And I'm finding this in a lot of areas that are kind of the self-care and the um, things that are for me. And obviously, this is not a good practice, and I need to get back to doing some of these other self-care related ideas. So this week I started um, kind of brainstorming and my mindful moment today was kind of creating something that was self-appreciation and uh, when I started thinking about this combined with uh, the video I did last time about altering tools and making them use, you know, work for you. I realized that my victory journal is a tool and it is something that in the here and the now I'm not finding time for. So what I did is I combined my victory journal with the the concept of the scatter plot. So this warm fuzzy idea. And what I did was I put my date over here in the corner and then I started with overwhelm because that's what I was in last week and um, I went through and I looked at all the various things that I did to help myself to improve from this space of overwhelm into a place where I would much rather be. So I did this usually with scatter plot you would put your main idea in the center um, so like with this one I have Fallon in the center and then I have all my ideas. 
this one I did more um, like a sun ray, I guess. So I have my concept in the upper corner and everything is going outward. And uh, this was so much fun. And it gave me a chance to really analyze, you know, what, what it was that helped me to get to a space where I feel a little bit better about completing the tasks that I have this week. So I have things on here um, that are things like awareness. <laughs> um, I have to be aware of what's going on in order to be able to um, impact it, which thankfully I have a pretty strong awareness. Um, Reevaluating my schedule and seeing, you know, that I needed to have blocked out time frames on my calendar that told me um, what needs to happen in that time frame because otherwise it just wasn't happening, right? Um, lowering or adjusting expectations. Um, reconnecting to my four categories, one of which is spirituality. And um, I, I mean, you've heard these before, but I had completely cut out my self-care and the things that I know help me when I'm in overwhelm. So reconnecting with all of that and bringing those things back in was a huge part of what helped me forward. So um, taking time for me, um, music, <laughs> um, evaluate what is working and what is not working, mindful moments. Um, so, I mean, the list goes on. Obviously, I have quite a few things here, but does this kind of thought process work for you? Have you ever altered a tool that you usually use to make it work in the moment? Um, this is journaling. This is um, self-appreciation. This is self-worth. This is self-acceptance, right? Um, and I've essentially shared two tools here, uh, the victory journal again, and then the scatter plot thought process. So is there something that you do that you feel this, this should, this push where you feel like you need to be doing it, but you're not? And is there a way to make it work for you by altering the way you usually would do it? So comment below, what is your big takeaway from this video? And um, do you have tips on overwhelm? Because I know we all have it from time to time and it's really nice to see what works for other people. And even if it doesn't work for you, you can adapt, you can change it a little bit so that it works well. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I absolutely loved combining tools that I already use and finding a new way to make it work for me this week. So. Thank you, everybody. I'll talk to you later.